money is the center of evil. Money is the root of evil. It isn't. And it can be a powerful incentive for good. But we still shake our heads at the crass contrast between the millions paid for the transfer of a footballer and the admission that there are a billion or more people in the developing world who live on less than a dollar a day. Some of you may even remember the Avon Church uh, service a few years ago, led by Bishop Carey, just before he became Archbishop of Canterbury. He asked us why, when we have a poverty line, we don't have a greed line. People are also going to shake their heads about a school like Avon if it allows its, its students to throw their money around in a mockery of the values it claims to follow. I said a moment ago that many alumni, when they come back to the school, ask about the meditation and whether it still exists. The other most frequent question is about expedition and their role in the school today. For many, the control freedom of the expeditions, the self-discipline they encourage, and the exposure to the magnificence of the Swiss Alps were an experience which is still an important influence on their lives. I don't believe there is another school anywhere which offers quite the same opportunities as Avon's expedition program. What is usually described as pastoral care for the individual has always been a hallmark of Avon. Those who have a talent for leadership have a particular responsibility to help and encourage others to achieve their best. The school has been structured in such a way that the progress of the individual boy and girl is monitored, not just in terms of academic, sports, and other achievements, but also according to basic standards of conduct and morality, service, responsibility, and self-discipline. At graduation each year, when the John Paulette Virtus prizes are awarded, one is astonished at the huge achievement and commitment of many, a clear indication that Aegon's principles still command some respect. All these aspects of life of Aegon, and many others I've not mentioned, add up to a lot of hard work and discipline. And the going is sometimes tough. But it is a challenge which brings out the best in people and many of them in retrospect that they don't thank Avon for the easy times they had, but for the difficult challenges with which they were often confronted. It's all a matter of balance, of course. And balance is difficult to achieve in a world where increasingly it is speed and convenience which condition behavior, regardless of the consequences for others. It may be time for the balance to be redressed, in which case we shall all be involved, either directly or as spectators. But without these petty recrimination, England is bigger than that. It's not so much self-interest as the well-being of a fine school which is at stake. And you, the alumni, have a key role to play in the future of your school. Remind people of my generation what was so important for you when you were here. And please continue to show an interest and do your best to support Avon as it moves into its new future.